something new. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go through a quick little definition of our list. So first of all, so what we've talked about so far is a parabola, right? Is this We're, still ten This is not ten three so on our parabola, or formerly known as a parabola, uh, we knew that the definition of a parabola was going to be when you have a point which we call the focus. You guys don't need to write this down. This is a little bit of review. We had two things, two new definitions: the focus and the directrix. And was so nice about the focus and the directrix is that what we found out was the distance to any point between the focus and the directrix was equal, or at least supposed to be equal per drawing, is going to be equal, so any point on a parabola is going to be equal between the distance of the focus, which is equal to the directrix. Right? That was your definition of a parabola. Okay? Now, Let's kind of go through a definition of an ellipse. All right, so you guys can think of an ellipse as kind of like one as an oval, um, two a distorted circle, or three, you can kind of think of it as like two little parabolas kind of going, focusing at each other. Because the reason being, for a ellipse, all right, we're also going to have a focus. We're actually going to have two focuses, though, or foci. So let's pretend our two focuses are right here. Okay? And let's pretend they're right here. So what's so important about these foci is obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a directrix anymore, right? So what is going to be our standard now form of our ellipse? Well. The definition of a list is if I was going to pick any point on my ellipse and I was going to kind of draw a line, and let's call this C1 and this C2. Okay? Then let's maybe pick another point. Let's maybe pick this point. And let's call this C3 and C4. What I want you guys to understand is for every point on this ellipse, the, the addition or the sum of these distances from your foci to any point, the sum of these two lines are always are going to be constant. So therefore, you could say C1 plus C2, let's say equal, equals a constant number. Let's say the constant number is 10. I don't know. I'll always call it D, which will be our constant. If C1 plus C2 equals, D, then guess what? C3 plus C4 equals D. And it doesn't matter, guys, where I want to pick these points. It's the sum of all points. Let's do I do C5 and C6. C5 plus C6 equals D. Remember, D is just our constant number. So no matter what point I pick on the ellipse, the addition of the distance from each foci to that point, the sum of those values is going to equal a constant number, which is true for all points of your ellipse. Does that kind of make a little sense? So it's a little bit different than our parabola, which says, oh, the distance from the is equal for every point on the parabola, it's, it's equal from the foci to the directrix. Now it's the sum of your foci, the distance from each foci to your point, the sum of those two values is going to equal a constant value. All right? And it doesn't matter if I have a, a vertical those distances added up, the sum are always going to equal D. Okay? So that's your definition of an ellipse. Now, let's get into the serious stuff. 